Reb Brown was on the love boat. You think I'm shitting you? I'm not shitting you. Eh, no, he wasn't a Viking biker from hell. Or a big ass motherfucker. Big ass motherfuckers. I mean, it's the love boat. You couldn't stick a grenade in a Russian's mouth and blow his ass up on network TV back then. Except on the A team. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen, okay? I wasn't originally gonna do this episode because, well, you'll see. But then I realized it's Reb Brown on the love boat. I mean, you just, you gotta know, right? Because you're putting this guy. On the love boat. This guy. On the love boat. I mean, what, is the love boat going to be attacked by killer cyborgs? Because seriously, I would have watched a shitload more Nick at night if I'd have known that. Anyway, each episode of The Love Boat covers about three separate stories, but I'll just be covering the one that Reb is in. The first of the other two stories involves Donald O'Connor as a celebrity animal trainer, and his co-star, Shirley the Seal, who seriously is the most awesome animal I've ever seen on camera. I mean, just look at all the tricks she can do. And bless Lloyd Bridges and Flipper. Now go to sleep. What? What do you want? Oreo, you're jealous of a seal. Okay. Ooh, that's new. Well, if you're so smart, why don't you start your own review show? Actually, why don't you start by not licking your own butthole? Anyway, the other story stars the original MILF, Florence Henderson, and Jeffrey Tamp- Oh! What is that? What's wrong with your face? Oh my god, why? Why is he doing that? It looks like he's in pain! It floats back to you Anyway, yeah, Reb. He arrives on the ship with his grandma, looking huge and acting all stiff and weird, which sort of freaks the crew out. I'm Hattie Williams, and this is my grandson, Carl. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Let's see. You are uh, in adjoining cabins on Aloha Deck, cabins 130 and 132. Something wrong. You don't get rowdy or mean, do you? <laughs> no, why? Well, it's just that... Uh, I'd have to be the one to stop you, and I'd hate to be a failure. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> it wasn't a fly I was thinking of. It still seems kind of a weird thing to just ask a guy who hasn't done anything even remotely disruptive yet, basically asking if he's looking for a fight. It's almost like he's seen Cage. You don't get rowdy or mean, do you? <laughs> no, why? Now, Mr. Brown, please, we can't have any Kumite blood sports on board this ship. You and Mr. Frigno aren't planning on wrestling anyone, are you? No, why? I like wrestling. The most freaked out crew member of all is the bartender who nearly shits himself when Reb walks up and orders some orange juice. Could you bring a glass of orange juice to that table? Could you make that a pair? My grandmother would like one too. Your grandmother? Thanks. But the joke is that he's not really afraid of Reb, he's afraid of Reb's grandma. Because she was his old teacher and he's afraid that she'd be disappointed in him because he became a bartender and not someone more successful. So Reb gets his orange juice for his grandma, and then, um, he doesn't show up for about 40 minutes until just before the credits roll, when he leaves. Thank you, Captain. Captain, yeah, like thank you for most of You're very welcome. That's it. Bye-bye, thanks for seeing us. Bye-bye. Yeah, sort of unfulfilling, really. And not the way I would have written it, obviously. I can think of a couple rewrites, I don't know. Like, maybe Gopher here accidentally spills a Bloody Mary on Reb, who completely flips his shit and tackles him by the throat overboard, crushing his skull against the side of the boat, fucking killing him instantly. Shit, yeah! Or how about, uh, how about, like, Reb is so disgusted with the service on the ship on his way out, he fucking drops a shitload of grenades on some exhaust ports in the engine room, and he dives off just as the ship explodes! Our father who art never- That's how you win a series! Or, you know, I suppose you could just order an orange juice and then leave, I suppose. That'd be fun, too. Yeah.
is something for everyone Set a course for adventure Your mind on a new road path And love won't hurt anymore It's an open smile on a friendly shore. 